Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to take an STL file or a mesh file and import it into Fusion 360 uh, so you can edit that file. So the first step is to click insert, insert mesh, select from my computer, find your file and click open. I generally hit the center button and move the ground button that just centers the model in your workspace. And if we go to bodies here, you can see this little icon means it's a mesh. And I can't click on any of the faces or edges or anything. I can just click on it um, to select it. So there's, there's no way to edit it from this uh, point in Fusion 360. So let's change that. Head to the mesh tab up here. The first step is to generate face groups. And you're going to click on your model. There's two ways to do this, fast or accurate. Fast will do it in a very fast way, but less accurate. Accurate will do it accurately, but less quickly. So let's choose accurate, hit OK. And this usually takes about four to five seconds, depending on the complexity of the model. If it's a very complex model or a large model, it could take up to a minute or so. OK, so that's done. Let's go up to Modify, Convert Mesh. And again, a little window pops up. Let's select the body. The options you want to choose are Parametric and Prismatic. So let's hit OK. And there you go. And it's converted to a solid body. And I can click on edges. I can do any changes I want to from this point. So let's do a different, uh, I'll hit close, don't save. Let's try it one more time with a different file. Insert, insert mesh, select from my computer, different file this time, center, move to ground, hit OK. So let's head to the mesh tab, generate face groups, and we have to select our body, which is this. And again, I'm going to do it accurately. Hit OK. Done. Modify. Convert mesh. Click on our body. Parametric and prismatic. And hit OK. And there we go. Now I can edit this in any way I want. So let's go back on the timeline here to that last step. And let's say you import a model and it's just throwing errors at you. Uh, this prismatic just isn't giving you what you want. You can do faceted. Um, so let's hit OK. And you can see it still converted it to a solid body, but it left all of the edges and the faces from that mesh. Depending on how complicated your model is, this will make Fusion 360 run very slowly and clunky. But the advantage of this is now you can click on edges. So here I have the top and bottom edge selected, and I know that's 9.9 .9 millimeters. And the advantage of this is I can now take measurements of this model and recreate it using Fusion 360. Um, you can see it'd be very hard to edit this model with this many faces and this many edges. If I wanted to extrude or make this whole thing thicker, I would have to select all of these faces and edges and then extrude. And like I said, Fusion gets really boggy. So this is not how you want to do it. So let's go back. We'll click prismatic. And now you can see it's much cleaner. If you have any questions or would like to see a tutorial on how I would recreate this STL um, using the faceted approach, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this has helped. Thanks.